Hi, I'm John and I live in northeastern Pennsylvania and this is my traffic control box smoker that I made. I got this traffic control box off of a local contractor that installs traffic lights. I painted it black with the typical barbecue paint that you would find in your local home improvement center. This box is about 50 inches tall, about 18 inches deep and about 24 inches wide. You can see that I made a little stand for it out of 4x4s which I also purchased at my local home improvement center. The box slopes slightly from the top to the back to shed rain. I purchased these two temperature gauges typically used for a gas grill. They were $8.99 at my local home improvement center. This box has a little access door which I'm going to show you shortly and it also has numerous louvers on the bottom which will aid in air circulation to help keep the charcoal at a constant temperature. Now I mentioned to you about the little trap door. This door here is able to be opened and you can see that it's at exactly the right height to have my charcoal in there. Inside this pan here is a typical bain-marie type pan. This is the full size and you can see that it fits exactly in this opening. This was about $20 and I bought this on Amazon. This rack here is a typical gas grill rack. Typically they're about 24 inches wide. This one had to be trimmed a little bit. I trimmed that with my sawzall and you can see that also that fits perfectly front to back. Down here on my charcoal I made a little stand here using four very long bolts and I used a typical wok that you would use for grilling and it the wok has numerous little holes in there and the purpose of using this type of setup is so that as the coals burn the ashes will fall down into the pan and thus ensure a constant temperature of the charcoal if you're using a pan that does not have holes in it then what you're going to find is that the ashes accumulate and then they start to smother the charcoal and you don't get such a consistent burn. I don't know if you could see this but in the top of the inside of the smoker I put three aluminum bars across the top for future hanging of sausages or turkey legs or other type things that you would typically hang when you're smoking and uh, as I mentioned earlier about the water pan you may or may not know that you have to have a water pan in a smoker or otherwise your meat is going to turn to uh, a beef jerky type consistency. The cabinet had a few holes in the back where it was mounted to a pole. You could see that I've used some typical hardware to fill those uh, holes and uh, thus uh, prevent any of the hot air or the smoke from escaping. When I mounted the three bars I used the typical uh, hubcap type fasteners on the ends. Those are the types that you typically see on a kid's wagon. And uh, I had the temperature at about 200 degrees. It dropped of course since I opened the door. but. Um, this is my inaugural run of the, uh, the smoker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, piece of uh, hickory on there and get it smoking. I'm going to get the box seasoned. And then after the box is seasoned, then of course I'm going to enjoy my favorite brisket, beer can chicken, and uh, turkey legs, sausages, ham, and of course uh, many other delectable delights. If you have any ideas as to how I might improve my smoker, 
I'd love to hear from you. So this is John saying goodbye from northeastern Pennsylvania and I don't know if you noticed this but uh, we're in the middle of October and actually there's a few snowflakes falling today.